Uh, on on Ray, um, one of my favorite ways to write is to write before the season starts, I'll write these long suites of themes that might be anywhere from three to five or six minutes long. And, and I find that, and I, you know, I, I think I, I, I read of other composers that did this. I think Hans does that a lot, and I think uh, Danny Elfman does that. And many different composers, sometimes it can kind of help focus your overall attention. In a weird way, I find that sometimes picture can be distracting and I you know I say that as a film composer you know obviously picture is is what we are out you know servicing in the end but I find that I can also write some of my best music away from picture and then I might place it somewhere Derek might do it many times you know he might cut some of this music the picture editors will do it sometimes directors themselves would like to do it um, but then I will also write cues um, to picture, um, a fair amount of them, of course. Um, but I wouldn't say that every cue I would just sit in front of the picture and map it out in that way for every episode. Definitely not. Because especially for the more moody stuff, um, I find it very interesting what happens with music if, if it has the inner life in it. Um, how we can color the picture and how the picture can color the music and how sometimes when music is a little bit more floaty, uh, you know, composers that I love, like, you know, Thomas Newman or, or Ennio Morricone, who write music that is kind of, it hovers in this very beautiful way. And I, f and I find that to be a big part of, of my process as well as sometimes, you know, just as Scott said, you just get the time, you put the, the bars and the tempo that you want and you just kind of let it rip. But I also do, when I write to picture, one thing I do a lot is to write it wild. I will say that a, probably a third of the things that I write to picture, I will have no click on. And I will just play them, whether it might be a piano-based thing, might be more atmospheric, whatever it may be. And I'm a really big believer, unless you are looking for the music to drive a scene, which in certain kinds of Things you really need to, if it's an action sequence and you need that, that post. But since a lot of what I do are dramas and a lot of what I do has a lot of dialogue, very early on I started this process of just turning off the click and trying to have the picture be the click, have the picture give you the time. And the picture doesn't work unless they might have been tamping with, you know, some clock-like uh, temp. But the picture a lot of the times will... It lives in a very different set. It has rhythm for sure, and it has things that it demands, but it might not be a click kind of rhythm, you know, that it's steady and that it drives it. Um, and sometimes, ironically, by having a, metro a metronomical kind of thing, you can have, you can make the scene seem a lot slower. Uh, so, particularly with dialogue, as I said, I find that, you know, um, one of the things I love to do is to write under dialogue, and I find that, that a lot of the times what I would do is as a hybrid in between, is that I might actually not look at the picture and just have the dialogue on. And I will write just to the dialogue, you know, and think of it like you're writing to a melody of some sort and you're kind of a company. I always like to tell directors that it's like an aria and, you know, their dialogue is the aria. They love that, of course, because, you know, <laughs> everybody wants to be an opera star. And, and uh, so, but I do find that dialogue can, can be a great thing and shows like The Affair in particular, which are very uh, dialogue heavy and sometimes you might have, you know, a five minute dialogue scene that is entirely scored. And I find that, you know, if it's just two people in a room, you kind of know, I mean, of course it's great to see what they're doing with their faces and how they're, it's cut, but the dialogue is, is, is what really, I find it to be a, a very, um, just a very inspiring piece of, of, uh, of filmmaking that you can actually work without looking at. 